All praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders and the bishops of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, unto the true servants, the prophets, the true and sincere brothers that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you, I say shalom. The biggest enemy of Jake is our own people. All right. And the closer and the closer we get to the end of this, as Esau increases the persecution, as this truth, be, you know, becomes pretty much more of a problem for Esau, it's going to be our own people, Israelites, which so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that are going to come against us the hardest. Esau don't even have, really don't have to come against us because our own people are going to do it. All right. And it was always been like that. All right. It was always been Israelites, Jakes, that have come against us the hardest. And you know, when you think about it, we always say Esau is our biggest enemy, of course, but really it's our own people because they're supposed to be on our side. They're Israelites. We're, we are the same, we're of the same, um, we're the same bloodline. We're, we're, we're the same people, but our own people turn on us to side with the enemy to come against us. And you're going to see it even more, even more than it ever, ever been. Uh, 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 in history, because this is the end of an era. This is the end of Esau's kingdom. Therefore, our people who are who 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 you know um, are in this society that have a place in this society, they're going to try to fight and keep that place because it's going down. And when Esau points a finger at us and makes us a terrorist, makes us the the enemy, hey, our people are going to be on board with it. Okay, they're going to come down on us the hardest. And it's always been like that. They always persecuted the prophets. Look how they did Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the prime example. Okay, they they, they came against Yahweh Shai, and he was doing nothing but great great things for our people. Okay, healing people, uh, uh, you know, uh, spreading forth the gospel, giving our people the, this, 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 you know, wisdom, performing miracles, feeding people. And what did they do? What did Israel, What did Jake do to him? Okay, what did Jake do to our Lord? They crucified him. Said, "I let his blood be upon us and our kids." I'm going to grab that. This is Matthew, um, um, 27, and I'm going to start at verse 22. Pilate saith unto them, "What shall we do with this Yahweh Shai, which is called the Hamashiach?" They all say unto him, "Let him be crucified." Who was he talking? He's talking to the Israelites. Okay. And the governor said, why? What evil have you done? But they cried out more, saying, let him be crucified. That's Israel. All right, the same thing's going to happen. Okay? But this time, the elect, all right, it's going to be some of those that are martyrs for this truth. All right? But the elect is going to be delivered. Okay? The elect, you know, is going to be uh, redeemed. All right? The elect is going to be uh, uh, um, made right before the whole world. By Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. And the governor said, What what evil have we done? And they cried out, saying, they cried out more, saying, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he count that he couldn't could when Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See see ye to it all right this he said this just person he was innocent Yahweh was innocent he did no sin then answered all the people and said his blood be on us and on our children that's how wicked these niggas is that's how wicked these niggas are today that's how wicked what they were in the ancient world when Yahweh Shai walked the earth and they're the same they're even more wicked today then released he about uh Barabbas unto them and when he had scourged Yahweh Shah, he delivered him to be crucified. Okay, they wanted a fucking uh, 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 um, what is it? Uh, um, a, a, a murderer and a thief, Barabbas, over the the Messiah. Okay, so they're gonna, of course, in these days they're gonna pick some two third nigga rapper, some two third nigga uh, uh, um, uh, uh, athlete or somebody who they hold in high regard in the society over the truth, over what the prophets say. They're going to hold some nigga, the pork chop eating nigga preacher 
over what the prophet said, what the Bible says, over the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai. It's nothing different. It's nothing different from, for, and actually it's worse today because the misinformation uh, uh, can be spread, you know, uh, um, worldwide about this truth and what it's about. Okay? You know, and, and people are going to believe it once it's put in their face. Um, you know, uh, once it's put in their face multiple times, once it's, once it's on the news, once we, we uh, the truth has been uh, as being spoken, um, you know, evil of. All right, it's, it's that's going to be just like Christianity is seared in these dumb niggas' heads. That's the 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 the, the false image, the false representation of this truth is going to be seared in their head also. Okay, it, it's no different. Hey, niggas in Mo, uh, nigg niggas in Moses, uh, niggas in Egypt. Or right, we were delivered out of Egypt. Okay, what did niggas do? That's why all those niggas had to die off in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the wilderness. All right, these niggas rather. You know, I'm gonna get it. Uh, Exodus 14 and 11. They rather be slaves under the Egyptians, okay, than 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 to be free, okay, and lean and depend on your Habashimah Shai when they were in the wilderness. And they talk shit about they talk shit to Moses and Aaron. All right, this is um Exodus 14 and uh, verse 11. Hold on. Yeah, I'll, I'll start at. Not at nine, but the Egyptians pursued after them, all the horses, the chariots of Pharaoh, and his horsemen, and his army, and overtook them encamping by the sea beside uh, Pitharethoth, before Balazephron. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord Yahweh. And they said unto Moses, because there is no graves in Egypt, thou hast taken us away to die in the wilderness. Wherefore hast thou dealt with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? So these, they talking shit. All right, the e Egyptians is about to, you know, uh, uh, they're pursuing them. Okay, but and what is Jake doing? They don't got no faith. They cried upon the Lord, but they have no faith. These niggas is, these niggas is, um... These niggas are um so like yeah these niggas are, are are talking shit. All right, did you bring us out here to die? All right, why'd you carry us out of Egypt? If it if not this is is not this the word that he that we did tell thee in Egypt saying let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. They was better off. They would want niggas wanted to serve Esau or serve the Egyptians in these days serve um serve uh Esau okay it's better if we just we just you know live here stay here live here in America and die than to then for the destruction for the plagues for all these things spoken of in the scriptures to come to pass and be delivered okay niggas are niggas are okay with being status quo status quo here in um in Babylon being slaves on this devil okay that's why they're going to come against us the hardest because we're telling you, hey, it's another way. It's a different way. Okay. The, the Lord, our Lord, Yahweh Shai is going to come deliver us from these devils. All right. But it's going to have, it's going to be, it's going to be rough. It's going to be a, a bumpy road to get there. But hey, if you, if you go through it, hey, it's, it's, it's light at the end of the tunnel. The niggas don't want to go down that tunnel. Niggas don't want to go down. Niggas don't want to uh, go through the straight gate. All right. That's why they're gonna come against us. Like, man, I I, I know I should never should have trust those Hebrew Israelites. You know, yeah, yeah, they they the ones they're the ones that did it. They did this and they did this, and it's going these niggas are gonna come with all kind of lies and slander. But we're prepared for that. Okay, the Lord is preparing His men. All right, building up our faith. All right, opening up our eyes to see, um, you know, to see everything that's going on. Um, let me see. Uh, Okay, let me get Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 2, and uh, verse 13, uh, 14 point. Uh, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me the fountains of living water. They had hewed out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. That, hey, the, the our Israelite, Israelites, 
excuse me, have forsaken the Lord or the living waters, this truth. Okay, their heritage. All right. And have hewed out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave slave? Why is he spoiled? All right. It, it, Israel is a it, it, they're acting like damn homeborn slaves right now. We're 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 a royal, we're a royal people. Okay, but of course we're in a low position right now because we went off as a nation. But hey, it, there's a way out of that. All right, but these niggas they don't want they don't want to they don't want that way. They they they're comfortable here in Babylon. All right, and they're gonna do any and everything to you know re, to remain com uh, uh, comfortable. Okay, if that if that's you know they got to lie, they got to uh, 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 cheat, and they got to uh, you know. Um, you know, uh, have brothers, uh, uh, men of the Lord put to death. So be it. Okay. That, 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 that's how, that's how, you know, and Jake, you know, you're going to see how wicked our people are. All right. Our, you could already see how wicked our people are, but when they come against the men of the Lord, that's, that's when you're going to know like, damn, you know, we thought Esau was a damn devil. These niggas is, uh, uh, uh damn near almost bigger devils than this, uh, than Esau. Cause that's Esau's purpose. Esau's purpose is supposed to be the wicked. Our people was not supposed to be wicked. Okay, um, let me grab this, Acts 7, because Stephen um, was cussing out these jakes, man, telling him which, which of, which of your prophet, which of, which prophets have your uh, forefathers not killed, all right, so this is always something, you know, our people um, says it in Acts, uh, they hated him that rebuketh at the gate, all right, they don't want to be rebuked, they don't want to be told they're going off, okay, they, like I said, these niggas want to stay Stay in wickedness, stay in darkness. Okay. Uh, this is Acts 7 and 51. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in hearts and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did also. As your fathers did, so do ye. Which of the prophets have your fathers, have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one and whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. And that's, that's, that's plain. Okay. This, this, Hey, these niggas was back in the time of Stephen, back in the time of, of Moses, back in the times of, uh, you know, the, um, the prophets, Isaiah during the Babylonian, then the several captivities Jake has been in. All right. You always had those, those, um, those those niggas that was you know somehow some way they they became they made an alliance with Esau and came against us, okay and and you know it's it's fucked up you know but hey it's true, okay it's true you, and you're gonna have you already got it to a certain degree with all these you know fake ass uh, Christian pastors and so called Christian apologists that come against us then they don't know shit, okay. But you know, you, they, hey, Christianity is the biggest religion in the world, so they're gonna they got they got the masses right now, okay. But they got the ears of the masses, but we don't care about the masses. All we were concerned about is the elect. Once the elect is sealed, hey, then hey, that then they're gonna see where everyone's faith is. You're gonna really see everyone be exposed, especially our people, okay. They, they, those are the ones that's gonna wake up uh, in shame and contempt in the kingdom of heaven because they they per persecuted the prophets. All right. Um, let me grab this. Second uh, Chronicles twenty four, and um, twenty four, and I'm um, start at verse nineteen. Nineteen. Um, yeah, I start at nineteen. Yet he sent prophets to them to bring them again unto the Lord, and they testified against them, but they would not give ear. That's the Israelites. All right. The Lord sent out his prophets now to to uh prophesy and um you know you know preach the gospel to our people. Or but they they they're not giving ear. Okay. And and their opinion of us is going to be based on what this devil tells them. All right. What this devil pushes out there. The false narrative that this devil Esau pushes out there. Um the spirit of the most high came upon Zechariah the son of uh Jedidot, Je Jeho Jehodia, the priest, which stood above the people, and said unto them, Thus saith Thus saith the Most High, Why transgressest thee the commandments of the Lord, that ye cannot prosper? 
because ye have forsaken the Lord, he hath also forsaken you. And they conspired against him and stoned him with stones at the at the commandment of the king in the court of the house of the Lord. Okay, so and they, they cussed him out. And he said, uh, why are you forsaken the Lord? All right, and, and he have forsaken you. So hey, these, these wicked ass niggas came against um, the prophet. Okay, and, and they stoned him. All right, um, so let me jump over to the other uh, precept in um, Chronicles um, 36 and 15. To 15, no, 15 and 16. And the Lord power of their fathers sent to them by his messengers rising up beat times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. And they mocked the messengers of the Most High. Who are the messengers? The prophets. And despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh rose against his people till there was no remedy. All right, and that's, hey, that's what's happening right now. All right, they're abusing the prophets. They're despising the word, okay? And they're, they're mocking the prophets, talking shit, okay? But the wrath of Yahweh Shema Shai is, is rising, all right? As it says um, in Isaiah, as a, a, a breach ready to fall, okay? Because they what do they do? They despise the Holy One of Israel. This is Isaiah 29 and... Um, oh, is it 29? Maybe it's 30. Let me see. I think it's 30. Where is that precept? It's locked in. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it is 30. Hey, bear me one second. One second. I'm going to look it up. Isaiah 30 and 13. I think this we're going right, right past it. Um, our, yeah, started 12. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye have despised his word and trust in oppression and preserve perverseness and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be as a breach ready to fall, swelling out of a high wall whose breaking cometh sudden and at an instant. All right. That's going to be that the, that's going to be the, um, the wrath of the Lord. That's going to, you know, that rose up against the people. Okay. And it says until there was no remedy, you know, back in second Chronicles 36 and 16. It's the same thing. That's the same judgment that's going to come amongst Israel. It's going to come amongst our people the hardest also. Okay. Um, I've got a few more scriptures I wanted to grab. Matthew um, Matthew 5 and uh, 12. It reads, uh, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So, hey, we understand what we signed up for. We understand that, you know, the persecution is going to come from Esau. It's going to come from our own damn people, okay? That, that you know, and our, it's our own people. We you know Esau hates us, yeah, but that that's, that's, that's built in their DNA. That's, that's they're, they're, they're programmed to hate the Israelites. They're programmed to be our, our enemies. Our people, our own people, Israelites aren't, okay? You know, but, but, but hey, that's the, you know, in this wicked-ass society, okay, that's what, hey, that's what, that's what it is. Okay, that's something that we have to deal with, all right? It's more than likely, it's going to be family members. It's going to be so-called friends, all right? They're going to come against you, They're going to, and they're going to come against us hard, okay? Because they want to keep what they got, all right? They want to 
still remain in, in, in you know, the good graces of Esau. Okay. You know, hey, Esau is really, hey, Esau is their father. Like Yahweh Shai said, you are your father, the devil. Okay. Um, yeah, I got one scripture. One last scripture I want to get. First Thessalonians uh, 5. And uh, I'm going to start at 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man. Let me see, is this it? Oh, no, no. It's like, yeah, I'm in the wrong verse. Wrong chapter, excuse me. Chapter 2 and verse 15. Um, yeah, I'll start at, I'll start at 14. For ye brethren beca became followers of the churches of the Most High, which is in Judea, are in Yahawashai, Hamashiach Yahawashai, for ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews, your own countrymen, your own people, Israelites, your own kinsmen, okay, have suffering things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews. Who both killed the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach and their own prophets and have persecuted us, and they please not the Most High and are contrary to all men. All right? It's wicked niggas, man. Wicked Jakes. All right? That's the biggest enemy. Of our, the biggest enemy uh, is our own damn people, man. All right? Imagine living with someone and, or you have a family, and you know, it's going to happen. You have family members within your own family that you you know you think care for you. They're your enemies. That's exact, that's exactly what is going is happening and it's going to happen. Okay, hey, Israel as a no, as a whole is a, a a big family, but we got people within the family that ain't right. Okay, and they're going to come against those that are right. But hey, we know the Mo heavenly Father is going to destroy them, and you know he's righteous, he's merciful. He's going to bring them back in the kingdom of heaven. But those that ain't right, they're going to get they Those that persecute the prophets, hey, they're going to get theirs. They're, they're going to get their, you know, they're going to get their, receive their judgment. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakadash. Shalom.